How's everyone doing today? It's the Rock Man coming at you. Um, I just wanted to address a couple things about uh, what I've been talking about before and how it relates to the situation that we're in now. Uh, the thing about that is, it is precisely because of the University of Columbia, I last the Frankfurt School, that we see all these uh, professors out here brainwashing our kids. And um, they essentially, throughout the generations, taught the teachers that would eventually become uh, uh, instrumental in establishing our public school system. And um, oh, there's a lot of time that's passed, a lot of, a lot of check boxes checked. But now, considering the situation that we're in, I'm finding it kind of strange that everyone knows who these people are. Everyone knows um, how dangerous their ideas are. And yet they're still out there spreading these ideas. They still have a platform. They still presume to morally judge us and tell us that we need to be better um, when they have the body count as far as uh, human history is concerned. And I call them Bolsheviks. I call them communists. But, but we know who they are. They're, they're timeless. They've been uh, enemies of humanity since time immemorial. They're in scripture they're they're in multiple holy books um just hijacked lineages and uh straight revisionism and, and inversion and the thing about inversion is that that's the thing about being in a being in a in a in a cabal being in a fraternity especially of a luciferian kind of satanic kind is it's all about inverting God's creation. Um, everything needs to be backwards and upside down. So that's why we're getting all these polarizing ideas. That's why uh, they're competing with each other. And that's why we're seeing lines being drawn that we've never seen before. And it's becoming quite clear who we can trust and what needs to be done. Now, I've noticed uh, a few things lately about the situation that we're in and what's going on around the world is um all the feminists have shut the fuck up haven't they <laughs> all the all the critics of uh of men seem to have just quieted down because it seems like it's our time to rise again and i think this is a good thing i think and this this is a, a public uh announcement for every man listening to this uh you need to step up you need to make some decisions you need to take command because uh if you don't then uh, your entire familial unit your entire neighborhood may be led astray it's just earlier today i uh i was talking with my with my roommate i'm supposed to be out of here in like a day or two but who knows what's gonna happen anyway um i was having a discussion with him and ideology ideologically he is opposed to me. He believes in everything I don't. He would vote the opposite way I would. And to be quite honest with you, um, normally someone like me wouldn't hang out or even like a person like him. However, um, and I think this is anecdotal because of one-on-one -on -one exposure, but now it seems like even, even despite all of this, we're on the same page. Uh, we're both relatively ready to either bunker down or uh, or bug out, either or, depending on the situation. And I think that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, take a uh, mental note of, of anyone that's in your neighborhood that may be useful, uh, as well as anyone in your neighborhood that may not. That, you know, in a zombie apocalypse movie, they would be the one who would get bitten and not tell you. Those kind of people. And there are a lot of them. Um, worry about your uh, local threats before um, moving on to the bigger threats because we'll get there and God willing we'll get there together thanks for listening